What's up guys, Chris here. Today I'll be explaining how I got a 131 on the chemistry physics section of the MCAT. The score is out of 132, so I did pretty well, and I have a few tips that I think will really help you all. Let's get right into it. All right, so an overview on this section. The section is very problem solving based. If you're someone who's strong in physics, math, chemistry, any problem solving type questions, and you kind of prefer those over biology type questions, I think you'll gravitate towards this section in general compared to the other sections on the MCAT. How I managed to score as well as I did was I emphasized a lot of practice questions, and I also did a lot of Anki. I want to place a huge emphasis on practice questions for this section though. All right, so for my step-by-step -step guide, I would say start with having an MCAT study plan. And from there, while following the plan, make sure you're implementing practice for questions that are going to be on the section. For example, I use the Kaplan MCAT books. And in the Kaplan Chemistry and Physics books, I made sure to do all practice problems in all sections of the book while doing content review. Now onto the practice phase when I was actually practicing for the test, doing UWorld and AAMC materials, I really focused on the chemistry and physics portions of these questions and try to learn from my mistakes. You do not want to take these questions and just take these tests passively, get questions wrong and do not really care about how you do or what you're doing. Truly analyze each question you get wrong and even those that you get right that you might guess on and see why you're making mistakes. You want to learn how to do every type of question that can be asked on test day for chemistry physics because to be quite frank, although the test is large, there aren't many ways they can ask the questions they're going to ask. My number one piece of advice is to use the AAMC question packs and section banks. The ChemPhys section bank is literally a gold mine. I studied this one around a few days before the exam. I took the whole section bank and also really analyzed anything I got wrong in the section. And by actually learning how to do each type of question in the section bank, I felt like on test day, I saw nothing new. But the way that they were framed and asked felt very familiar to me. And honestly, after finishing the first section of the MCAT, the ChemPhys section, I felt very confident for the rest of the exam. So yeah, this is kind of a section that I would recommend all of you try to study by practicing as I mentioned before. It's something that I think you can do really well on no matter who you are. And the more practice you put into chemistry and physics, from the Kaplan MCAT books, from UWorld, and from the AAMC materials specifically, while also interweaving on key to remember formulas or anything like that, you should do really well on this portion of the exam. Now my other hidden gem is actually to use on key to memorize all amino acids. A lot of the questions on this portion of the exam and on the exam overall, are gonna directly ask what certain amino acids are. And if you have them memorized, their three letter abbreviations, their one letter abbreviations, how they look, their side chains, for example, you'll be able to get a lot of questions right just from that. And then from there, you're able to use your knowledge on amino acids to help you solve problems in the section and every other section as needed. But yeah, those are my main pieces of advice to really do well in the campus section. And yeah, tune in for more. Thanks, bye.